Hi, my name's Janet, and today I want to show you how to make aqua fresca. Now, why do we need to know how to make aqua frescas? Well, I'm in Texas, and in Texas there's three seasons in the summer. There's hot, hotter, and I can't believe I live here. So we're not quite into that third season, but we're beginning to feel it. So let's just go ahead and get a head, head start on it. Now, before I even start talking about the agua fresca, I just want to talk about the infused water. Now, I didn't start doing this until I started thinking about doing this show because I thought, you know, it's, it's kind of a lot of work to put these vegetables, I mean, put the cucumbers and the raspberries in. But I just want to say, as far as something to drink throughout the day, I mean, the, the fresca thing is, is more of a, a treat, but this... Put that in, to put this in the refrigerator the night before and to have this for you, yourself the next morning is a fantastic thing to do here for yourself. It's like a spa day and you don't even have to pay any money for it. So I'm just going to put that right there as a little plug for making yourself some infused water uh, during the summer. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, first thing we want to do is we want to uh, put one cup of watermelon in the noisy blender. Now, of course, I've made uh, cantaloupe, I've made pineapple, and I've made watermelon agua frescas. And I'm making watermelon because um, of all the ones I've tried, I think the watermelon is, is some of the best. I never knew about these when I lived in El Paso, but my friend um, Cheryl, who was the banana nut bread um, one friend, is the one that took me to this place outside of Austin and introduced me to agua frescas. And I had a cucumber lime one, and it was amazing. It was really, really good. So, okay, so it's just, this is going to be so simple that you're not even going to believe it. It's one cup of watermelon, then it's one half of a lime, and you just put that in here. Now, I'm going to make mine with bubbly water, uh, with a Pellegrino, but you could use regular water. In fact, when I was looking at all the recipes, a lot of them used regular water, but I actually um, like to use the Pellegrino because I think it's more refreshing. I mean, there's, there's, you know, we need to stay hydrated, but we need to be refreshed too. I mean, it's hot out here. Okay, and then, I didn't know this, and, and this way I, I feel like it's sort of like a water bartender, but you can't um, just pour this into the blender. Okay, maybe you all know that, but I didn't know it. You have to be really careful with this, this guy or else you just you lose your bubbly. So I just need a little liquid in here, so I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I'll lose the bubbly on that, but that's okay because I've got a lot more left. And I'm just going to put this on. Close your ears. You kind of need to leave it on for a while because if you don't, you're going to end up with little pieces of watermelon in there. Okay, here we go. Now, my little addition, which you will not find on the internet, is I have made for um, the drink mint ice cubes and ginger ice cubes. Now, the ginger ice cubes, I use this ginger powder from Trader Joe's, and um, you can follow the directions on there. It is very easy to make, and I just make the ice cubes like this. You can see I've already been using some of them. And um, what you do is, is you just pop these things out. Now, the, the, um, oh wait, I forgot one thing. You can use no sweetener in this, but you can also use a little agave nectar. Now, honey, sugar, whatever, but this is actually supposed to be a little bit better for you. Um, a teaspoon to a tablespoon, I'm just going to put about a half of a tablespoon in here. So, I just want to, I forgot that so I'm just going to mix that up. Okay. Now, these are ginger ice cubes that I made from this stuff from Trader Joe's. And you just pop these out. Now, I got, um, I got this guy from Bed Bath & Beyond. And you can just see, you just pop this out. Second, one second. You just, you just wait a second. Just tap it. You know, just to give it a good... Now, um, sorry, wait one second. Close your, close your eyes. Okay, let me go. 
I'm just going to put these ice cubes in. And then I'm going to take my, um, my drink and use this cup. I'm actually going to have a taste test today because Trader Joe's is my competition. I just went to Trader Joe's and found out this, saw this can that said, it is the sparkling beverage of your warm weather dreams. And I just want to say, this guy has a little competition, okay? So I'm going to just pour this uh, Pellegrino onto the side of the cup, not pouring it directly into the cup. And it's one cup of water or sparkling water to one cup of fruit, okay? That's the drink. And then the ice cubes are just my idea. So I put the Pellegrino in first, and then I add my, whoops, well, okay, okay, well, it's a little bit, let's see, wow, that's good. You do want to kind of uh, stir up the bubbly with the um, watermelon, and let's see. Mm, that's good. And you know, it's just enough. It's not like you're just going, oh, that's so sweet, or that's such a, you know, big drink. It's actually not. It's just a really nice, refreshing, very mildly tasty drink. So, okay. I just want to say a word about the mint ice cubes. If you do decide to use mint, I did make mint ice cubes, and these are them. Now, when you look at that, it's fresh mint. I just put the fresh mint in there and then I just put water in there and then I just blended it up. It, it looks like pond water. So I don't think that's a very good thing. If you're going to put these in people's drinks, you don't want it to look like pond water. These are my, my mint ice cubes and um, I, I just made them with mint tea. So mint tea, fresh mint. If you do use fresh mint, as friend said, do not boil, but let the water boil or else it will be better. Okay, so now we go. Here's our um, taste tester. This is my husband, Rob, and he's going to come up and taste the um, Trader Joe's watermelon. Really, it's an agua fresca. And he, blindfold. Um, yeah, so go ahead and blindfold yourself. Here is Trader Joe's. And here is my watermelon agua fresca. Okay, I'm going to mix them around. He doesn't know which one he's going to get first, but I'm going to give him this one first. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, none of this is rigged. He really does not know what he's getting because I want just just a sip. You don't need to drink the whole thing. Okay, good. Okay, and then this is the second one. Okay, now don't just don't don't say it too fast. Be thinking because you know there might be it might be kind of a tie. Oh, yeah, el segundo vaso definitivamente muy sabroso. The second glass. Okay. I know that's finished. Okay, guys, so that's it. And um, thanks for watching my show, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Y que tengas un buen verano. Oh, and it's Sunday, so remember this. Taste and see the Lord is good. Okay, amen.